Is anybody familiar with this jam right here? Well, then throw your hands in the air. I think that there is a cultural dynamic in Minnesota that might be inherently Scandinavian of we're all in this together because if we're not winter will kill us I got your back you got my back if my if my tire pops you come out you help me fix it and you send me on my way but once you send me on my way you flick me off because we don't actually like each other but we're in this together so we're gonna we're gonna work through this and then once we get through it we'll go back to drawing those dotted lines between us, you know? And to me, when I hear the phrase Minnesota nice, obviously, that's what I think of. Follow the dream, never meant leave the love. Roam if you must, but come home when you've seen enough. It didn't seem like there was a presence in the national or global conversation about hip hop. There wasn't a Minneapolis presence. And so when we started to obtain a presence, I wanted to put that in there. I wanted so that when people seen my name or saw a picture of us or heard a song of us, you somehow understood that this is representing an underrepresented part. Me and a, and a friend of mine named Derek, we'd been rapping and making music together under the name Atmosphere. A, a childhood friend of ours named Sadiq, a, a, a kid we went to high school with, he was doing like street promotions and throwing parties and stuff so he would book us to play shows and so once things started moving we had ended up with a skeleton crew of what we had started with and that's once we had that core there was like five of us um and those five of us created what is now known as rhyme Savers. I was just another face on the bus tapping my feet to the beat on the radio dreaming when you ask what gets me excited about playing at red rocks almost like a, there's a magic to this space that has been here for probably millions of years. So for us to come in, it's almost as if we're not the headliner tonight. The space is the headliner. Discretion is the name of my cement feathered bird. If they didn't hear, motherfuck whatever. I don't have a choice. I have to keep the momentum going because I'm, I'm addicted to it. It's, it's, it's my coping mechanism for life. Our music doesn't get played on the radio very often. We're not in a lot of the mainstream platforms. So it's a word of mouth kind of thing. Our music gets handed down from an older sibling to a younger sibling, or from a parent to a child, or from a best friend to, you know, it, it's almost like it's a prescription. We can sit and reminisce about the old school. Maybe share a cigarette, cause we're both fools. Chop it up and compare perspectives. I want everybody to feel not just like they're here because of who's on the stage, but they're here because of who's standing next to them. To use their voices together, uh, to rejoice. You know, this is as close to church as a lot of these people are gonna get.